Francesca. My belongings have been mysteriously disappearing recently. Do you know where they are? Mom? Um, I don't know what belongings you're talking about, and I surely don't have a clue where they are. Good answer. I already knew you would say something like that. It's a classic thief's reply, isn't it? What do you mean by thief's reply? I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, Francesca, I tried to avoid talking about it to your face, but it seems like you're too dumb to even comprehend what I'm implying. Give me back my money and jewelry, you scoundrel. I will only say this one time, so I will not repeat myself. I know you took them, and I won't stop until I get them back. Don't even think for a split second that you can get away with this. Your money and jewelry? What are you talking about? I don't know about any of that, and I'm offended that you would accuse me. I've never stolen anything in my life. You don't know any of that? Now you're playing the victim card, huh? Or are you suggesting that my belongings suddenly just vanished into thin air? Nice try, but you're not fooling anyone. We both know that in this household, you're the only possible suspect. After all, you're the only one who stays at home most of the time and does all the cleaning around the house. So, of course it must be you who stole my valuables. Don't try to deny it anymore, Francesca. Hand them over to me now or I'm calling the cops on you. Criminals like you are not welcome in my house. Honestly, Mom, I've already told you what I know, and I didn't steal anything from you. If you have any proof that I stole from you, I would be happy to see it. But until then, I'm asking you to stop accusing me of stealing. You know what? If anyone in our family is prone to stealing, it's Nathan and no one else but him. Excuse me? Did I hear you correctly? Are you trying to pin this on my one and only precious son, Nathan? How dare you do that? I see, I see. You're not only useless, but now you're also portraying yourself as a sly and conniving woman who's willing to do anything to cover her tracks, even if it's to falsely accuse your own big brother? Disgusting, simply disgusting. Next time, if you come up with any more lies, make sure that they're more believable, okay? What's with all the accusations and hurtful words, mom? I seriously don't understand what you're talking about. There must be some misunderstanding here, because I haven't done anything wrong. Why don't you look at Nathan? You know he's been addicted to gambling for quite some time, right? Besides, he's currently not working. It's all the more reason for him to take your money and valuables and then gamble them away. I don't see any reasons why you're still trying to protect Nathan. Do you deliberately ignore it, or are you just too blind to see the truth? What? Now you even dare accuse my son of being a gambling addict? Nathan is a good boy and he would never do such a thing. He leaves home early in the morning and goes back only after midnight. He works hard every day just so he can provide for the whole family. You're leeching off his money, so be more grateful instead of slandering my son's good name. What? Nathan hasn't been providing anything for us, I'm telling you. He's been squandering money away at the casinos. Do you even know that he actually got fired from his last job because he was caught sneaking out of the office to indulge himself in gambling instead of working? There's no one else who would have the motive to steal your jewelry other than Nathan. How do you even have the audacity to make these things up? Do you have any sense of shame? You're the one who lazes around our house all day every day while your brother has to go out there working his fingers to the bone to take care of our family. And now you conveniently made up a story in which your brother is a liar, a gambling addict, and a thief? Look, why don't you just own up to your actions and admit your sins? If you do that, maybe I'll consider letting you off the hook but not without you being on your knees to apologize profusely to me and returning the valuables to their rightful owner, which is me, of course. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I didn't do it. I didn't steal anything from you. Why don't you just believe me for once, honestly? Well, of course I don't. I have all the reasons in the world not to believe you. I mean, have you ever even looked at yourself in the mirror? You can't even have a job yourself. You're always staying at home and doing trivial things. You hole up in your room most of the time, avoiding any contact with the real world. You don't care about anything, not even your own family. Do you know what our relatives, my friends, or even the neighbors are saying behind our backs? They're saying that I'm a useless mother who can't even educate her own children and lets her daughter grow up to be a burden to society. Why should I care about you or Nathan when the only thing you do is belittle me? Can you even imagine what they would say when they find out that you're also a dirty thief? I'm telling you, you're ruining our family's reputation. A bad name sticks, don't you get it? Once our family's prestige goes down the drain, you will never be able to regain it. Stop dragging us all down with you. No one's saying these things, mother. I think you're being a little overdramatic, don't you think? Overdramatic? I'm asking you. 
Have you ever felt ashamed when comparing yourself to your own brother? While he's out there working night and day to pursue his own career path, what do you do? You waste your time lazing about at home and doing God knows what on your computer. If you're not working and contributing to the family's income, then what are you good for? You're a disgrace to our family. If I had known you would become a burden as you are today, I would have put you up for adoption a long time ago. I am not a burden to anyone. I do have a job, I still pay my bills independently, and I don't owe anyone any money. So why should I be ashamed of myself? Maybe you're just too stupid and immune to reasoning that there's no sense of shame left in you. But please, think about me and your brother too. What can we reply to other people when they ask us about you? A failure and a thief. They'll keep wondering why your brother is such a wonderful man, while you turned out to be a sad excuse for a human being. Well, if you stop speaking ill of me to other people, then maybe they wouldn't ask so much about me. Speaking ill of you? As if you were something so important. I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart. Who do you think you are? Especially compared to your perfect brother, Nathan. Look, Francesca, as a generous and loving mother, I give you one last chance. Return my valuables to me at once, or else I'll have your brother Nathan beat you up until you're forced to give me back my belongings. Your choice to make. What? Are you crazy? Do you realize that assaulting someone is a crime? And not just anyone, but your own daughter? I can't believe you would even think of doing something like this. You're sick. Crazy? Ha! <laughs> now you even have the guts to call your own mother crazy? What a bold move. Do you think you're the mistress of this household or what? It seems like all this time I was overindulging you too much that you didn't even consider my presence anymore, did you? It's time to restore the order of this house once again. We are a family with dignity and high self-respect, and we don't tolerate petty thieves. Do you hear me? Look, Mom, I see that it's futile to argue with you, because clearly you refuse to listen to anything I say. I'm going to clear everything out with Nathan, and you'll see who's a thief and who's not. Nathan, are you there? There's something we need to talk about. What is it, you freak? Why did you choose this time to talk to me? I'm busy. Busy, huh? Busy gambling at the casino again? What? How do you... I mean, seriously? Are you out of your mind? Why do you accuse me of gambling out of the blue like that? Don't even think that I'm going to let you get away with it just because you're a girl or even my sister. Out of the blue? Don't give me that. I know you're not working anymore. I know you got fired five months ago and you've been gambling away all your money at the casinos. So don't try to lie to me. Now when you've lost all your money and savings, you even stole from mom. Am I correct about that part? Stop with your groundless accusations, you witch. I... I still have a job and I don't steal from anyone. Do you still think that you can hide your dirty deeds? I have a trusted source, you know. I asked your co-workers and they told me that you're already fired. Stop trying to deny it. They also confirmed that you got fired because you were caught sneaking out of your office to go to the casinos. Don't you dare tell me that's not true. Fine, fine. I got fired because I went to the casinos during my working hours. So what, evil snake? How can that justify your accusation of me being a thief? You think you can easily threaten me by snitching me out to mom? You have no evidence whatsoever. Yeah, right. Mom always takes my side, even when I'm clearly in the wrong. She only hears my side of the story, and she never believes anyone else. So keep dreaming that she'll ever punish me. You're living in a fantasy world. Even if I was a thief, what are you going to do about it? Cry to yourself at night, you frail little brat? I'm shaking in my boots. You're just as stubborn and arrogant as our mother, huh? Stubborn and arrogant? Are you literally describing yourself right now? By the way, if you already know that I lost my job, then there's no use for me in hiding it anymore. I'm currently short on money, so give me $500 and I'll tell mom not to punish you for accusing me of stealing. I need it right now. It's a win-win, you know. You can escape mom's wrath and I get some money to spend. Have you no shame? After stealing from mom, now you even ask me for money? When are you going to grow up and start acting like a mature adult? 
You can't even take care of yourself and your own life. What? What's wrong about asking for money? Come on, I'm your big bro. You have to help me with this. Er, uh, no, you and mom always look down on me, calling me a parasite and all kinds of names. So why should I help you out, honestly? Why shouldn't you? If you help me out, it'll make you less of a burden and a parasite, okay? Look at the bright side. I'm actually helping you, not the other way around. No, I won't help you. Get yourself a job, earn money, and spend the money you earn. I have no obligation to help you. If you still consider yourself a grown man, then make your own money and spend it the way you want. Oh, come on. Seriously? Consider that money as my travel expense. If I look for a job, surely I need some money to catch a train or a bus, correct? Do you seriously expect me to walk on foot or what? Oh, please, spare me the theatrics. We both know that you use every single penny that you have left to gamble, so there's no need to try and deny it. Just drop it already. What's wrong with gambling? It's a sport, you know. It helps you exercise your brain, stay focused, and have a clear mind. Not only that, gambling also helps me to relax after my long and difficult job search. Besides, what gives you the right to judge my way of using money? I have all the freedom in the world to spend money for whatever I want the way I want it, okay? What a complete failure in nuance. Get out of my life already. You know what's ironic? You're here asking me for money with that kind of attitude. You want money from me, but you constantly belittle me and make it seem like you are superior. I can see that mom's toxic parenting has finally come to fruition, and I'm curious to see how she will cope with the consequences of her actions. Mom, are you there? There's something you need to see. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Miss Parasite herself. Where have you been hiding these past few days? Are you too afraid to be beaten up by your brother that you don't even dare to show your face? Or are you plotting to steal even more from me? Pathetic! Steal from you? Why don't you take a look at the video I just sent you and see who's the thief now? What video? What are you trying to pull here, Francesca? Just tell me what it is already. You know I hate surprises. Well, just watch the video and find out about it yourself. Fine, fine. Who do you think you are to order your mother around like that? Wait, this is our living room. And who is this guy sneaking around our house and scrambling things up? He looks familiar. No way. Could it be? Nathan? My son? What was he doing? And why was he rummaging through my wallet? It can't be. I told you Nathan was a thief, but you wouldn't listen. Now you see for yourself. Your own beloved son is a petty thief who's been stealing from you this whole time. How does that feel? I bet it burns inside, knowing that you raised a son who's nothing but a low-life criminal. I guess you'll have to learn to live with the fact that your son is nothing but a lowly thief. I can't believe this. My son is not a thief. He's a good man with dignity who has a stable job with a stable income. He's the one who takes on the burden of a breadwinner in this house. He's the one who provides for the whole family. With a clear piece of evidence like that, you still keep burying your head in the sand and pretending that nothing's wrong? Stop being so ridiculous and overprotective about your son and face the reality. He's not the person you think he is. He's a heavy gambling addict and he's been stealing from you this whole time. You need to wake up and see him for who your son really is. He's a thief and he's a liar. I'm still expecting an apology from you, by the way, if you still have any decency left in you. It's not nice to be called a thief when I'm not. Apology? Don't make me laugh. This is nothing but a big deception. Do you really think that you can fool me with this childish trickery? Not in a million years. What? What do you mean trickery? I seriously don't understand. Oh, don't try and act like you're completely innocent anymore, you devil. Your stupid video is either edited or you set up a scene to frame your own brother. There's no other explanation. You're either a liar or a cheat. Which one is it? What a cunning evil witch. How could you even think of stabbing your own brother in the back like that? What? Are you being serious? Don't tell me that you're still defending your son, even though you saw him stealing from you with your own eyes. Your way of overindulging Nathan has led him to become a spoiled, narcissistic man-child. You've created a monster. Your way of overindulging Nathan has led the way for his theft behavior and gambling addiction. Do you even realize that? If you let him continue down this path, 
Sooner or later, he'll become a real criminal. He will not only steal from you, but also from other people and end up in jail. Enough! I said enough! I don't want to hear any more words from you, you filthy little rascal. How dare you even call my son a thief and a gambling addict? He's none of that. In fact, if anyone were to be called a burden, it's you and only you. A freeloader like you doesn't have any rights to speak ill of my son. Get lost. Get out of my house for good. I don't need a parasite and a good-for-nothing woman like you in my life. Gather your stuff and disappear completely. You know what? Fine by me. I've had enough of you and your son's bullying. I'll pack my belongings and leave the house today, and I'll never look back. Just to make it clear, from now on, I won't have any association with you or Nathan anymore. Oh really? It sounds like music to my ears, dear Miss Good-For-Nothing Francesca. It's a shame. If you had confessed and said sorry to me and your brother, we would have considered letting you off the hook. It's not too late to admit that you're a petty thief, you know. You just have to endure a good beating from your brother, then everything will be solved. You and Nathan are both monsters in disguise. You both disgust me to no end, I'm telling you. You know what? I can't wait to go somewhere far away from this dysfunctional family and cut all ties with you. I'm not going to let you control me anymore. I'm going to create a better life for myself, and you're not invited to be a part of it. You cut ties with me? What a joke! Looks like little Francesca is too full of herself again. Don't think just because you said it first means you get to cut ties with us. It's me who gets to say that, understood? In the end, you're only a doormat. You're just something to be walked all over and be thrown away in the garbage. Do you hear me? By the way, when you come back home to pick up your trashy belongings, don't even dream of stealing anything else from us ever again. Your brother will be watching each and every move you make, so you'd better watch out. As if I was so flat broke that I had to steal from you two. One more thing. Check thoroughly every corner of the house and bring what belongs to you. If you forgot to take something with you, we'll either sell it or throw it right into the dumpster. A criminal like you will never be welcome to set foot in our house again once you leave. That's great. I'm eager to cut you and your useless son out of my life for good. I'm moving to a new place that you won't know the address of. Don't try to find me if there's any trouble. Enough jokes for today, Francesca. No one cares about where you're gonna live, okay? But of course, you don't even have to talk about it for us to find out. I bet a hundred bucks is out on the street in some kind of homeless shelter or dumpster, right? <laughs> good grief. I'm having a real good laugh from your buffoonery today. Hey, Francesca. How have you been doing? I bet you must miss having your family around to death, don't you? Well, I have some good news for you. You don't have to live alone again. Me and Nathan have thought it all through, and we decided to take you back into our house. In fact, we even decided to hold a little surprise party to welcome you back into our lives. I know you're just as happy as I am right now, aren't you, darling? Really? Last time I checked, you made it abundantly clear that you wanted me to disappear from your life for good. Now, out of nowhere, you decided to show up saying that you want me back into your lives? Seriously, do you think I'm a kid to fool me like that? Now, now, honey. No need for such harsh words to your own flesh and blood. Our intentions are genuine. We finally realized that we treated you unfairly, and we want to make it up to you from now on. So, what do you say? I don't think that you would want to miss out on this golden opportunity to amend our relationship, right? Hmm... Let me try to jog my memory a little bit. You told me that our family doesn't tolerate criminals, and your son called me a parasite. Should I come back or not? Nah, definitely not. Oh, Francesca, as your one and only mother, I am really, truly sorry for what I had said to you before. You know what hurt me as much as it hurt you when I said those things, don't you? I didn't mean what I said at all. Please understand for me. So, can you come home and join the party with us? It's all for you, sweetheart. I feel like it's been ages since the last time we had the chance to talk to each other. No, I already made up my mind the day you chose to kick your own daughter out of the house. I will not go back there anymore, and don't ever contact me again. I'm not your daughter anymore, and I surely don't have a corrupt brother like Nathan. Francesca, how could you? You see, me and your brother are in a very tough situation right now. We're currently having some financial issues, and we really need your help. Seriously? After the constant mockery and belittlement you subjected me to in the past, 
You still have the audacity to ask for my help? I admit it. Me and your brother made a huge mistake when we kicked you out of the house that day. And we're really eager to make amends with you. Make amends with me or take advantage of me again. You know what? I can already imagine how tough life would be living with a jobless gambling addict like your son. I mean, how could you even cover the living expenses with the meager amount you earn from your monthly pension? Who do you think is the one who has been paying the bills for the household all this time? Besides, after dad passed away, he made it abundantly clear that in his testament that I'm the one who inherits his house and all of his assets. Consider yourself lucky that I still let you live in the house up until now, but not any longer. What? You're the heir to your dad's house and his property? How could that even be possible? When did he say that? I don't even know that testament exists. Well, it's understandable that you don't know because you didn't even show up at his funeral. I was the one who had been taking care of dad from when he fell ill until his final days of living. And where were you and Nathan? You were busy taking care of your own selfish needs. From now on, you and your son are on your own. I don't care if you're out there rotting on the street or going around begging for money to get by. I won't be there to bail you out anymore. I'll toss both of you into the gutter, where you belong. Get out of my house now! Wait, Francesca, are you serious about this? Please wait. I know you're a kind person, so you can't kick out your own mom and brother out onto the streets, right? Of course I'm serious. There's always a limit to how much nonsense and mistreatment I tolerate, you know? Who do you think has been taking care of you and enabling your lazy lifestyles all these years? But I thought you were jobless. Where do you get all that money from? It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I'm sorry to announce to you that I'm not. I've been working from home and taking care of almost every bill myself. I was initially motivated by pity to let you stay in my house, as I could see that you were struggling with your son's gambling addiction and loneliness. But what did you do to repay my kindness? You strut around my house like you own it and treat me like your personal servant. Your behavior is arrogant and shameless, and you're no more than a miserable freeloader just like your son. You and your lazy king need to leave my house for good. I won't let a pair of freeloaders living like bums in my house. No, Francesca, please don't kick us out of the house. Please, please, I beg of you. Me and my son don't have anywhere else to go. But of course, out of my generosity, you and Nathan have all day tomorrow to leave the house. Take the bare minimum of daily necessities and clothing and get out. After I finally had enough of my brother and mother's selfishness, I kicked them both out of my house. They were forced to move into a rundown, small old apartment and get by on my mother's meager pension. Nathan, however, had not given up on his old habit. He continued to steal from my mother to fund his gambling, and when he ran out of money, he began stealing from other people. This eventually led to his arrest. Meanwhile, I continued to thrive in my career as a software developer. I'm focused on my own success, and I know that with hard work and determination, I could achieve great things. I'm determined to build a better life for myself. I knew that I had made the right decision to kick them out of my house, and I'm determined to never let them drag me down again.